Major news today from Ford. The company is making a change at the top. After three years as CEO, Jim Hackett says he is retiring and the current chief operating officer, Jim Farley, is taking over. Our business editor, Rob Maloney, live in Dearborn with a look at who a Jim Farley is and why this happened now. Rob? Well, let's first talk about Jim Hackett and his departure. He was kind of a reluctant CEO, uh, former CEO of Steelcase and U of M athletic director. Wasn't looking for the job when Bill Ford came to him, but he took it to help out and he did a lot. He worked on mobility quite a bit. He got rid of sedans in the lineup and he was working on a turnaround. And now it's Jim Farley's turn. Jim Farley is by all accounts a dyed-in-the-wool car guy who rose to automotive stardom at Toyota and came to Ford during the downturn. Chairman William Clay Ford Jr. today said of Farley, Jim is uh, perhaps the singular executive who understands the integration of technology and autos. Um, and he understands how profoundly technology is shaping our future. Farley recently ran Ford's new business and technology unit and knows it's a tall order he faces as CEO. You know, we know our competition today. It's Amazon, Baidu, Tesla, Apple, Toyota, and others. They're well-financed and voracious companies. And I'm inspired by the positive momentum that we're now building. But that was Hackett's calling card too. But it's the basic blocking and tackling that car companies need to do first that can bite you. LMC analyst Jeff Schuster believes Hackett's recent turnaround efforts prompted this move. Certainly there, there was uh, uh, some questions on just how that turnaround was going and uh, the fact that it wasn't happening fast enough. Ford just announced the revamped F-150, the next generation Bronco, and an electric Mustang. Those products can fund a turnaround, says auto trader analyst Michelle Krebs. Execute the upcoming products flawlessly. First, we've got the new F-150 coming. They cannot mess that up the way they did the Explorer. So come October 1st, Jim Hackett stepped aside. He will stay on as an advisor through 2021. Reporting live in Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4. The development, all right, Rod.